Hello. Hello. And welcome back to Baby Bath Basics, the series where we help fledgling goths answer their burning questions. And one of the questions that we get a lot of the time is, what foundation do you use? What foundation do you use? What foundation do you use? Now we have answered this in past videos, but we've also seen a similar question come up a lot, which is, what is the best white foundation we have chosen some of our favorite tried and tested white foundations and today we are going to be trying them on comparing them to each other and hopefully naming what we think is the best white foundation to be honest i'm still on the hunt for a good white foundation myself so this video is definitely gonna help me choose my all-time favorite white foundation also before we get into the video disclaimer here you do not need to wear white foundation to be goth you do not have to have a pale complexion to be a goth you do not even need to wear any makeup it is not important and it is not a prerequisite of the scene yeah and i think that goth makeup looks really good in all skin colors to be honest the main reason for this for me is that I am just very, very pale and I've been searching for a foundation that matches my skin color for a very long time. We are gonna be wearing two foundations each on either side of our face. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of all the foundations and give you a side-by-side -side comparison. To start, we are gonna be comparing the cheapest one that we have chosen and the most expensive one that we have chosen. The most expensive one here actually isn't the most kind of expensive white foundation you can get. So the most expensive one on our list I'm going to be trying out and that is LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is about 16 euro, I think, when you order it online. So it I is- I got it on sale for seven euro. So LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in the shade 641 White. And Lynn is going to be comparing that to the cheapest foundation on this list. I'm embarrassed to show you this. I've been using this for a long time. Awesome. My perfect color, lightning shade, adjusting drops. So it's a liquid pigment that you mix with foundation. But I was just using this as a foundation. It is actually really good. And I got it for one euro in the sale and bought like 10 of them. And then my friend bought like 10 of them and then gave me them. So it lasted me a very long time. This is the Primark slash pennies, depending on where you are in the world, own brand foundation mixers. I think they've actually stopped doing this exact one now, but they do have a newer one, like kind of in a different bottle that I'm assuming is the same formula. So we're gonna try compare the two of these together. This is my first time I'm ever using this foundation so this will be interesting okay here we go it smells really strong oh it smells so good yeah mm -hmm. it smells like caramel. chemicals chemicals caramel caramel this smells like soap <laughs> and that smells like caramel it makes me so hungry okay yeah actually it does smell a little bit like caramel I'm it's smelling it now. delicious <laughs> honestly my face smells amazing when I wear this this has been my go-to foundation it is pretty white and it does spread pretty well so i'm gonna say where, where i'm at right now that's really pale yeah but i don't love it it's not got great coverage which probably doesn't bother you because you've got good skin yeah whereas i've got bad skin yeah it's really lightweight yeah so this is not doing a lot for me i mean white foundation to be honest it's always hard to get like good coverage with it you need to kind of like conceal or maybe layer different layers of foundation i am doing more than one layer oh yeah i do like three yeah i'm on layer two and i'm like okay this is building pretty well I guess you would say i'm on layer two i suppose i don't know i wasn't really counting but i did pack it on a lot there is a matching la girl concealer that you can get with this and i normally use just any white concealers as well like it's like a pro concealer that i use with it i don't think it does much for me like the main thing i'm trying to cover up is like old piercing holes and stuff i feel like it's fine without it as well do, 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 do. i'm gonna come away from the light a bit so that i'm not overexposed and you can see it it looks pretty great on camera like in comparison it does look pretty great i'm not gonna lie but it does not in a mirror but it is very white it is not great coverage wise and it has gone on a little bit patchy in some places i'd probably layer a little bit more this is very light 
for me. It is very light, which is a good thing. It's good for people with because, sensory issues yeah, as well. Yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of foundation. In fact, I'm not going to lie. I don't actually feel like I'm wearing any foundation on that side of my face. So I would honestly, on a scale of one to 10, give this like a seven. I could wear it long periods because it feels so light and it is very white and it doesn't bother me. But I think with like concealer and powder over it, maybe I would like the coverage of it more, but just this on its own, that's where it's losing points. And I I don't love the smell. It is kind of overpowering sometimes. Yeah, I feel like They're I'm- a bit like, oh, my belly, it ma it's so yeah, sweet, it, it makes my belly That's exactly, yeah. I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm having pancakes. I'm also interested to see how this works on you as in like crack-wise and stuff, mm -hmm. because you always have an issue with like makeup just kind of cracking in certain parts. Because it's so lightweight, does it crack? Well, not at the end of the video, I guess. <laughs> Done. All foundation does. The only thing I found that actually helps me with that is like putting a layer of white powder over it because yeah. it kind of just sits in then when it does crack. Different skin textures as well because I'm really against powders and I feel like I'm missing out on something and I'm missing out on my foundation like popping because when I do powders my skin feels really dry and kind of like starts to wrinkle up when I wear just foundation I feel like it doesn't dry out and but it still stays on for the most part but I guess like if you're sweating and stuff then it could come off but I don't really sweat that much so it's fine for me but for somebody that does sweat they probably like can't me. do that yeah without saying anything you can tell people I sweat yeah. I'm always sweating <laughs> yeah I'm sweating right now why am I wearing socks so yeah I think for one euro this is pretty good. Like Connor said, I am blessed with good skin. Like I don't really have pimples and stuff like that, but I do have like a lot of piercing holes and it doesn't really cover them up very well, but it's smooth, it's like clear, but also that that's just my skin as well. So it's kind of hard to tell. I put a lot on, but it does last a long time. Like one of these would last me like maybe two months, depending on how much makeup I was doing on its own without mixing it with something. I'm going to be really, really, really sad when this is gone. And that's why I got the LA makeup because this isn't the last one that I have. And I've had it too long. It has been my all time favorite so far. Although I never feel like it is the exact white shade that I'm going for. I think on camera, the LA girl is winning just with like coverage wise and the vibrancy of the white. So before we get into the next two foundations, I want to do a quick honorable mentions because I know that people are going to be talking about this in the comment section. Number one, the most expensive possibly white foundation that you can get on the market is the Ella Masca white foundation. I have used it once before and I honestly do not think it is worth the price point that it is set at. It varies, but generally it costs around like this much for a foundation and honestly, it is not that great coverage wise it smells really good it's really good for your skin apparently but it is very very light the coverage especially if you've got bad skin or if you've had breakouts or if you have a lot of pores or anything like that like me it does not cover it it takes layers upon layers of it to actually work i would honestly compare it more so to what you're currently wearing than this and for the price that it is it is just not worthwhile the other one is manic panic white foundation the color corrector foundation this one here never used it I've, I've seen a lot of people talk about it it seems to be pretty popular just because manic panic is like kind of edgy looking and stuff you know it's kind of always been around for alternative people when it comes to like hair dyes and like nail polishes and stuff from what i have seen from reviews it is apparently very bad really really watery it is more so a mixer than it actually is a foundation and it needs to be used in conjunction with something else the manic panic do a powder as well that I have used in the past, the Manic Panic White Press Powder. And honestly, didn't love that one either. It was very cakey, didn't really look that white on top of like another foundation. It kind of like camouflaged into whatever the other foundation I was wearing was. I don't know, maybe if you use the Manic Panic Color Corrector Foundation and the Manic Panic Powder together, maybe you do get an incredible finish on that. But from what I've seen from reviews of their foundation and from personal experience with their pressed powder, it is not the one for me. And the other thing that I want to mention is Snazaru. As you can see by my neck, I'm a big fan of Snazaru. I've showed it up before in like makeup tutorials and things like that that we have done. You can get white Snazaru. It is a face paint. It is an entirely kind of different product, but you can use it for the same effect. And I have used it several times in the past. The thing with Snazaru is you have to kind of wet your brush, mix it into it, and then paint it. You can't really use it with a beauty blender. Some people use 
it with like damn makeup sponges that never worked for me i always had to use a brush to kind of get it to work you can use it as a foundation base the one thing to be aware of is it's not safe for eye use you kind of want to stay around like a goggle width around your eye area and then do a very big eye makeup look for it to work the pros of it is it is cheap you can build it up and you can get a very very white very thick kind of makeup look and it is very easy to take off you can literally clean it off with just water and soap the downsides of it are one it is very thick in consistency on your face especially with white you have to layer it a lot and the other thing is yes it's very easy to clean off but that also means that it, it comes off quite easily while you are wearing it it does come off if you sweat a lot because it is a water-based makeup you can set it with baby powder or a white press powder afterwards and that does help a bit but honestly not massively it will make it less dramatic if you are sweating but you will start to notice it come off so that is the honorable mentions for this list if you have another one you can think of definitely do let us know in the comment section down below if we haven't used it before maybe we'll try it out in a follow-up to this video now into the last two foundations that we are going to be trying on today the one that i am going to be trying i feel like this has been very popular on like tiktok and stuff lately right yes to okay. be honest this is why i got this well i say got this connor got this for me for christmas yeah i definitely got influenced by tiktok it is the sunset makeup white foundation this one has been doing the rounds on social media lately it is branded as like a, a white foundation for goths they did actually do like a goth bundle which is what i picked up for len which is like a white foundation a white concealer and a black lipstick and a black lip gloss and stuff a lot of people have been saying that it is really really good so we're going to find out today if it actually is worth the hype this i believe costs about 12 euros euro ish a bottle which isn't very expensive it is cheaper than the la girl which i have on this side so we'll have a good comparison between these two on my face the only thing is if you live in europe it's probably going to be very expensive for you because we have to pay for shipping and taxes and stuff if you're in north america watching this video then it's probably more easily attainable for you but european people prepare for a heart attack when you try import this into the eu the foundation that i'm using today we actually got it in the gothic beauty box and it's dark asteroid pretty ghostly foundation and lightning potion connor has tried this one he tried it the other night i was very excited because the dark asteroid white powder which we got in a previous gothic beauty box was the powder that i've been using for the past few months it was incredible it stands up to my sweaty forehead even on nights out even on hot streams under all the lights and stuff and also my makeup cracks a lot kind of around my eyes because I'm old and wrinkly. So the powder has been massively helpful with that. So I was super excited when we got an actual like white foundation from that brand in a gothic beauty box. And I tried it out last week and it was great. I'm not going to lie. I honestly think it's the contender for the best one we have here today. I'll let you try it on and review yeah, it. Yeah, I'm see excited. When think. I saw it on Connor, I was like, whoa. This is what I've been looking for. Excited to see how it goes because, like I said, different skins have different reactions to makeup. So we'll see if it looks as pale on me as it did as Connor. The only unfortunate thing with this one is I can't find an online store where you can actually buy this. They do have an Instagram page, but it doesn't seem to be active right now. They do have a website. It just wouldn't load for me. I have had issues in the past accessing American websites in the EU, and that could be what's happening with here. I'm not sure. But as far as I'm concerned right now, the only way you can actually access this foundation is by a subscription to gothic beauty magazine's beauty box service so that is the only downside to this foundation if it turns out to be the best one which honestly i think it is that is apparently right now the only way you can access it but let's try them out i am interested to try this sunset makeup the tiktok goth makeup this one smells more lemony yeah and i don't enjoy the smell of lemon going on pretty heavy this also smells like lemon which scares me because i'm slightly allergic this is going on better than the la girl and it's got more coverage i'm also not good at like packing it on because i like to spread my foundation out so i don't use too much of it and then go over it if it needs it rather than wasting it so i feel like that's why mine always kind of goes on for us kind of see through because right now i'm not impressed they look the same this one looks worse let's be generous yeah don't hold though <laughs> yeah but you just you don't you don't want a foundation where you have to use like too much either i mean like, it's white foundation so oh yeah we're getting somewhere it is going to require more than kind of like a regular foundation 
Also, I feel like, look right now, that looks great, but I'm gonna keep blending and blending just so it's set because I don't use powder. So that's probably on me. Just wanna say we are not like professional makeup artists. This is just how we do it. And we don't do things the way you're supposed to. Like we don't do primers, set things properly and stuff like that. So I mean, that's completely on us. Now this hasn't dried yet, but it has done more in one layer than the LA girl did in like three. So I'm gonna do a second layer, even though I honestly feel like I don't need it. Well, after doing one layer of this one, I can say it definitely is better over my mixer. At the end of the day, that's a mixer and this is a foundation. So what do I expect really? Okay, okay. now a problem that I'm running into is that it is kind of coming off. As you're going. As I'm blending. That's what happened to me. Which the LA girl didn't do. Even with the ring light. It's popping off. And the lighting. You can see a clear line here on me. This side is the LA girl and this side is the sunset makeup. And I know you're gonna hate to admit this, but sunset makeup looks better. Okay, here we are slightly darker. You can see a big difference between these two. This is kind of opaque, especially around the cheeks. And this is just like, shing, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So how do you rank Dark Astrid's coverage wise? I would still probably do one more layer. Compared to the LA Girl, it definitely feels a little bit heavier, but I mean, that's because it is, and it does have better coverage. On camera, it's definitely popping a lot more. So I guess it's kind of like more like stage makeup. I think it's really good for like light hitting it and stuff. Whereas this obviously is just a mixture, so it's very like dull. Whereas this, it's like striking. Well, how do you personally rank LA Girl? Because I gave it a 7. As soon as I got LA Girl, I wasn't very happy with it. I was just like, this is very light and you need a lot of layers. But the thing is, I feel like it's nice on my skin. My skin doesn't feel bad when I take it off. And I do like the smell of it. So what was the question? <laughs> so Dark Asteroid is ranking above LA Girl. I agree. Honestly, I do not like the LA Girl at all. The coverage is terrible. It is nice that it feels so light, but I would not wear it. I do not like how it looks. It's too opaque. Personally, I think the Dark Asteroid was better. Sunset makeup doesn't actually feel heavy as well, which is good. It doesn't feel too bad. I can feel that I'm wearing foundation in comparison to this side of my face, but it's not too bad. But I think for me, when I tried the Dark Asteroid, I thought it was better than Sunset. So out of those four, We'll go, the Primark My Perfect Color is good, but not great. Then in third place, we have LA Girl. It is light and wearable and it smells nice, but the coverage isn't great. It is a bit opaque. It would require a lot of layering. Sunset Makeup arguably layered a lot better, but the Dark Asteroid, I think, is the most even one. And when I used it, it had better coverage than this. It didn't bother me. Now I am closer to the light, everyone remember, so. Yeah. They're pretty close. It is a close match. It is genuinely a very, very close match. They are neck for neck. So as I said, it is quite difficult to get Dark Asteroid Foundation if you can't get your hands on it, if you can't get it through Gothic Beauty. Sunset Makeup is the best alternative. I am honestly impressed with it. I really thought it wasn't going to live up to the hype, but it is quite nice. I would wear it. I would genuinely wear it again. So winner of Best White Foundation 2024, according to Random Goth Couple, is dark asteroid pretty ghostly foundation and lightning potion it is fantastic it looks incredible and a very very close runner-up is the sunset makeup white foundation it is also great i genuinely really like how it looks i am impressed it did live up to the hype it did they were not lying it is pretty good two layers and i look like this i am blowing out a ring light right in front of us an la girl has the bronze medal for today. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope that it helps you find the white foundation of your dreams. Let us know in the comment section down below if we missed out on anything, if anything didn't get a mention or didn't get thrown into the honorable mentions list. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video where we try it out in the future. All the foundations we tried are in the link in the description down below. If you wanna pick up any of them, even the ones on the honorable mention list are in the description so you can follow those links and try them out for yourself thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot and until next time see you in your nightmares